Death Note is not my favorite anime, but if someone told me it was the greatest anime of all time, I wouldn't disagree. Because I know Death Note is worthy of that spot. A lot of anime are. Seeing Fulfillment of Alchemist and Keijo. Yes, Keijo. That beautiful show with a well developed, relatable characters and a grand genius level of a story that puts all other media to shame. But this video isn't about mankind's greatest anime that we should totally show aliens that this is the best thing humanity has ever created. So they won't enslave us because they never even created something as advanced and genius as Keijo. All I have to do is touch someone's behind with my right hand and I can steal all their butt techniques. About to beat my meat. <laughs> this video is about how I can respect anime I'm not a fan of or something like that. I, I, I don't know. Anime like One Piece and Bleach. Listen, I do like Naruto more than them, but I have never disrespected either of them. I have never ever disrespected One Piece or Bleach. I know One Piece and Bleach have massive cultural impact. Anyone that hates on these shows must have never watched them or you did watch them and you kept comparing it to your favorite anime and being biased all the way through. But I don't know. I do get tired seeing anime fans fight over what is the best anime. Like bro, seriously, what's the point of mindless, ignorant hating? You know what Kirby said? It doesn't make you cool. You don't earn any internet points. Listen, I understand people have opinions. No matter how good you think One Piece is, there are going to be people that hate it. People that would try to deny its impact and what it has influenced. That's just society. We all look at things differently, even though sometimes it's like we never had a unique experience in our life. As much as you love something, there's going to be someone that hates it as much as you love it. You can control how people feel. If they want to stick to that opinion, well, it's their right too. I do think you should try to stop talking about things you don't understand. Of course, there's people like Meat Peace, Attack on Meat, but those are just Twitter NPCs. I'm talking about people that are confident enough to use all 240 characters to write something dumb and inaccurate. Of course, they'll get ratio to oblivion. No worries about that. What I'm getting to is that you can hate an anime and respect it at the same time. It's not a competition. Just because you love Bleach doesn't mean Naruto fans are your ops. Notice I've been talking about the big three throughout this video, but this applies to all fandoms. You can like Bleach and respect Naruto and vice versa. There are no teams to take. There are no wife rewards to win. Yumiko already won them all anyway. Seriously, we don't have to have flame wars over fictional characters and stories. It's like people always have to pick a side. PlayStation or Xbox, WWE or AEW, etc, etc. People, it's okay to like multiple things. It's not that serious. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Listen. Everywhere you look in this world, wherever there is light, there will always be shadows to be found as well. As long as there is a concept of victors, the vanquished will also exist. The selfish intent of wanting to preserve peace initiates wars, and hatred is born in order to protect love. There are nexuses, causal relationships that cannot be separated. I won't talk like I'm a saint. I'll be waking up real early in the morning to be a hater too, especially on certain characters like Lemillion and Ichigo from Darling and Friends. Ichigo is a character that gets hit on a lot because of what she tried to do to Hiro. Basically, Ichigo has been friends with the main character Hiro 
since birth. They were both close and one day Hero fell off worse than Ice Spice is about to do. He lost his purpose in life. He wanted to fly, but he was missing a wing. And one day he found that missing piece, Zero Two. Zero Two allowed Hero to feel whole again. However, Zero Two was dangerous. Basically, she was like a black widow. She got her partners killed. This concerned Ichigo. She was worried for Hero, and she did her best to keep Hero away from Zero Two. She did it with good intentions. Everything she did was for Hero's well-being, and because she had hidden feelings. Despite all of that, I still hate Ichigo. Because it's fun to hate. It's fun to clown people. Dream. Dream is a normal looking guy, but still got hated on regardless. Why? Because it's fun. It is fun to be a hater, right? It's just fun. So I understand it. But anyway, the point is though, I don't know if I digress on the point of this video. I don't know, but whatever, make of it what you will. I, I'm gonna head out. But what's serious about respecting anime you know nothing about? Um, yeah. I think that's it. Um, like, subscribe, and um, thank you for watching the video. I don't know what to say now. I'm out.